this is today is uh, November 17, and this is Sally's Wom. The cistern water comes in through cutoff valve number one here, goes into filter A, which is a 60 mass particle filter. Then that goes into the um, sure, sure flow, flow revolution. revolution. Mm -hmm. 4008, now I wish I could get a focus. Is it, okay, there it goes. is. Okay. Um, 4008101.A65, 12 volt DC. Okay, sweet. So it does uh, have autofocus capability. Okay, so then, autofocus, autofocus, there we go. Uh, the output comes to here, we have our pressure gauge, and we also have this uh, handy dandy uh, thing here that uh, sometimes can help prime the pump uh, when you clean the 60 mesh filter. The main frustration with all the WAMs out here at Greater World is the 60 mesh uh, when you clean this there will be an air bubble in here and that air bubble is in the intake and it will cause the pump to lose prime and um, uh, so we're going to try a procedure that should work on all systems uh, to quickly prime. Okay, getting back to the orientation here. So we got the pressure gauge, and then we have a T-connector here. This goes to, let's see here. Oh, yeah, so that tees off to our uh, pump troll pressure switch. Um, which is a real nice, uh, very reliable, uh, no-nonsense pressure switch that will be turning the uh, SureFlow pump on and off. And coming out of the T, we've got, we've just installed a brand new um, cutoff valve for the pressure tank. So this the pressure tank is behind here. And um, originally, the when the house was originally built, the, the cutoff, the pressure tank was here. This isolated the the um, pressure switch from the system so that um, the pump would run uh, to dangerously high pressures and could damage the pump or damage the plumbing. So we swapped, uh, we pulled out the pressure switch here, I mean the uh, cutoff valve and swapped it over to here. So that was the only modification that we made and that is leak free, thank God. And then, continuing on, we have a 500 mesh particle filter, and that supplies water to the house uh, for your domestic water for washing and and um, and whatnot. Then, continuing on, we have the 1,000 mesh particle filter, and then we have a uh, Katadyne, or what is sold today as the uh, Dalton uh, Stericil, um, uh candle, uh, which is, uh, the Katie I think is no longer available or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what's going on, but anyway. Okay, so that's the, the basic system here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to clean the 60 mesh filter and the 500 mesh filter and then see if we can come up with the procedure to prime the pump. Okay, hand it off to you. Okay, um, so the first thing I'm going to do, oh yeah, <laughs> um, and this will be our, our spritzer sprayer is, is going to be our friend today, Lord willing. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I have to keep it yeah, like that. Uh, is unplug the pump. I'm going to close uh, number one here, isolate the cistern from the system. And, uh, well, I guess we might as well just start with the 60 mesh here. Uh, and open that up. Oh, very nice. Appetizing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close that. Put this back on just to just catch any drips or anything. Okay, so now with this filter inverted um, to help the any junk to flow downwards, 
I'm gonna, oh, nice sprayer. Okay, and then I'll do the other side. want to maybe just go around it uh, once or twice just to see if there's any particles you know like grit or sand so that feels nice and smooth and we put that back in get it to cooperate there we go and so I'm just gonna go you know about a little hand tight and I'm gonna back off now I'm going to open the cistern and we'll fill it up Get all, as much air out as we can. Okay, that looks like about, about it. And then I'm going to get it hand tight like that. And that should that should uh, do it for that. Okay, now moving on to the 500 mesh. Oops, maybe we should dump this. Uh, we just dump it in the rocks? Yeah, or, sure. Yeah. That's so nice. I mean, that's like so convenient to have yeah, the, the is, rocks man. there. Okay, so now, oh, we got over 40 psi of pressure on here. So what we're going to do is they shut off the handy dandy um, pressure tank uh, shut off valve, and then depressurize by opening this slightly, so, so it isn't quite so violent. So I just open up just a tiny bit, so it doesn't just go push, yeah, you know, and yeah. get all over your face. Um, okay, so that's depressurizing nicely, and. Oh, you can even see air bubbles come out. Uh, that's interesting. From the pressure tank line? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is shut off, so I guess they must be coming from maybe some air got in this line here. Mm -hmm. So now that's uh, coming out. That's kind of funny. Okay. Now, open that up all the way. Open this up a little bit, and then get all that out. And then... Interestingly, this thing, uh, you know, the 500 mesh filter, it still has quite a bit of water left in it because um, the is a 500 mesh is a pretty fine filter, and when you get you know, when it gets clogged with particles, it actually acts like a cup instead of a filter. And so it holds, holds that water. Yeah. It holds the water. Okay, so now. dirty but see we weren't um, cleaning the filters because it was such a pain in the butt to get it to prime the pump so we were just waiting yeah yeah spray action on this thing. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, okay. There we go. Okay. Let's get one more shot on here. Okay. And the inside looks clean. 
Now put that back in. Okay, and then check the O-ring is clear. Close that. Um, I'm just going to open up a little bit and then we're going to open up the pressure tank and let some water in. Fill that up until it overflows at right about there. And then just make sure you get any particles or anything and then hand tight. Okay, so that should be a good seal. Now we open up the this guy. And now listen carefully to the pump now. It'll sound like it, you know, it's going good for about half a second, and then it, it's going to get quiet, most likely, because as, as the air bubble gets sucked into here, it's going to uh, make it lose prime. So the pressure tank is off. So it should pressurize, you know, like, yeah. you know, in about five seconds, it should be fully pressurized. But that may not be the case, so we'll see. Nice and quiet. Not uh, so it's lost prime. Uh, oh, look at that! It, it's it's kind of yeah. What? Okay, so let's um, let's make sure. Um, so we got this off. I'm gonna open open this up and uh, let out the air. So you can hear that air that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it lost prime. There, now you can, you can hear it, it's struggling, so it's like it's dealing with air. Why is it shaking so much? Now I'm gonna crank it. And there's a nice, clean, um, that just blows okay. me away that it pr primes I'll, I'll, so I'll fast. Watch this. I'll open it again. Yeah. Okay, it just open up just a teeny bit. Uh, Go ahead and spill yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have to <laughs> dispose of some water here. Humidity is a good thing, I guess. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, okay. Um, why don't we use the... I'm going to go and run and, and uh, right. turn on the faucet real quick. And I'll... Well, you do. You pick this up. Okay. Yeah, why don't you go and get the faucet. Can I just turn it on a little bit? Yeah, just uh, open it up a, a crack. All right. More, a little more, a little more. Well, like that. That should Can okay. I leave it like that. Yeah. All right. So now we can see the pressure gauge dropping to twenty. So this is a normal. This is what it should sound like. Okay, so we're all set. So you how, can go ahead. How can it pressurize so fast? I mean, I I don't know. Maybe I was just. What uh, what I did though, I think part of the reason why it primed so fast is because I. Uh, pre, you can go ahead and turn that. Because uh, you pre. Yeah. Um. So I think the. Um. The main thing, is. Is when you when you put this back in before you tighten it, yeah. you open up the the cistern a little bit, and and s slowly and gently fill it up till it, the water overflows the sides here. You can see yeah. it dribble down. Yeah. And then just go ee -ee a little bit to loosen any uh, sand or whatever. Uh huh. Uh, and then give it a good hand tight, and that'll minimize the amount of air air bubble, air trapped in here, which will minimize this this thing struggling. To prime. To prime yeah. Then when you come over to the 500 mesh, um, and you're all ready to go, you open up the cistern, you uh, 
turn on the pump and then open this up a little bit mm -hmm. um, and or open up the, the kitchen faucet like you did there yeah. to, to give the air a chance to get out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that, now that, and then, and then when you can see when you can get that, you know, do it mm -hmm. on, the, on the pressure gauge here, you get it to cycle, then you know everything's perfect. Then you can go ahead and open up the, um, pressure, the pressure tank, tank. Yeah. and we'll see if there's, what the difference is on the, on the pressure. I can't remember what it was when, before we closed it, but we hit that. Okay, so it went up to 42, which is what we were at. Yeah. And... Um, so the that's whole, it. So the whole time in cleaning it and and getting it primed, that pressure tank line is shut. Yeah. Shut. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, because now now you know because we got this, uh, um, we can now now that we can isolate the pressure tank from the system. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to fight against the pressure tank pressure. Yeah. When it comes to priming this. So maybe that's what was going so on that was making it so hard. Exactly. I think yeah. that's exactly right. Because there was no way to, uh, to shut off the pressure tank without there. isolating your pressure that's switch. Right. And that's right. what was screwing you up. That's right. Now it's, it, it's a piece of cake. Man, that's something. So the, the, the modification that we made here and, um, and minimizing air bubble trapped in here uh, gives you an easy, easy prime, much yeah. easier uh, system to prime. Yeah. So that's it for now. Rock